that 9 out of 10 people blame Bush and the Republicans for the debt problem. Of course, the poll was taken, you know, you know, we know that George Bush and the Republicans start, you know, caused the problem that we're currently in. Do you blame George Bush and the Republicans for causing the problem? That's, that's, they said seven out of the eight questions where it started with George Bush and the Republicans caused the problem we're currently in. Uh. That's, you know, how, do you blame him? They, they, you know, so you're only going to get that type of an answer. Of course, it was a Democratic Party only poll, though. And Obama admits that he was at the top of the Bin Laden hit list. I mean, you don't think that this is the most ridiculous bunch of BS in the world? That I mean, th th this guy, you know, it's a mythical thing that nobody has seen but Obama. He tells the people on his press conference, you know, well, he had, well, he asked, well, okay, what's your question? We understand that there was a death wish, a death list. Can you tell us about it? Well, all I can tell you about was that I was the top of the list. Petrakis was the second on the list, and sporting events were third, but I was his main target. He, he had to go, he talked about himself a lot today. And Obama admits that over 80% of the nation wants taxes to be raised on the millionaires and the billionaires. The only problem is there's nobody that can find that poll that he's quoting. They well, said the, all, the highest that they can get was a poll taken in a in uh, uh, taking an, uh, an area that is notoriously known to be liberal democrat and be black yeah but see here's the the, the actually the, the the details is they want to be raised on the millionaires and billionaires so there's all these people that don't think they're millionaires and billionaires but well, they didn't realize they, they, that the limits for becoming a millionaire have changed. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars is a millionaire now. I'm assuming a billionaire is five hundred thousand dollars to Obama. Mm -hmm. So they always think somebody else should be paying more taxes. Yeah, was I understand that they, they, these people that they said they would the the people that they did this poll on they got to only sixty seven percent of them wanted it don't pay taxes at all. They went to an area where they don't pay taxes. Of They're course. Fine, yeah. yeah. And Obama blames the Republicans for the debt mess. Yeah, they won't raise tax. I mean, this is, you know, we're, we're going to have, maybe Rex, he, he really shouldn't hear, we're going to cover his little ear. The President of the United States was offering the Republicans $3 in debt reduction for every $1 in taxes. Of course, the debt reduction talks would start in 2014. In 2014? Yeah. This uh, means it's all 100% taxes, so, so we can uncover his ear now since we, the death, we didn't want him to hear about his president. And the Tea Party should be broken up and declared an un-American activity, according to the Democrats. I know. Well, if the Tea Party wasn't so obstinate that we'd be able to do a thing, but they refused to allow taxes on, the, uh, on those people that are flying corporate jets and are, and are living on their yachts. Well, I've already told people that the corporate jets basically Three billion dollars over ten years is the deduction, and those yachts can be 19 foot long as long as it's got a, as long as you've got a head in it, a galley, and uh, that's all that's required is a head and a galley. Well, there's a big difference between a yacht that's 19 foot long and one that's 300 feet long. No, not according to the Democrats. Mm -hmm. If you if you live on it and it's got a little porta potty and it's got a, and it's got a, a little uh, cook thing. You're a, you live on a yacht and you should be taxed for it. And the Tea Party should be broken up and declared an un-American activity, according to the Democrats. I know, she likes that. We should, well, you know, what, because they're calling all these people. Oh, I know, you're un -Amer Okay, basically they have stacked, they're, 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 what happened is, is that they're not going to cut any spending. Everybody knows they're not going to cut, except for Bill O'Reilly. Bill O'Reilly knows that the Democrats are too intelligent, too responsible. They won't cut spending because they have a man that he admires much, but the, the Tea Party is composed of Republicans, Democrats, and Independents, folks. 
and Obama feels that a balanced budget amendment is just a way to not take responsibility for the economy. I mean, he's too young to hear this. Who hasn't came up with a budget? Mm -hmm. Who has not came up with any cuts? Mm -hmm. Don't want him to hear this. He's President Obama, folks, so he knows all about irresponsibility. So now we can uncover his ears again. And Democrats should not only agree to media tax increases and discussion of budget cuts in 2013 at the earliest. I, I love that. And they, I love it. That word, at the earliest that they can talk about budget cuts is 213, which is a year after the election, but they won't do it until after the election in 214. Oh, is that what it is? Well, because if they do it in 213, then they have to respond to it for the next election, so they won't, so. Oh, which means nothing will happen until 2016? 15, because the election oh. is 16. Oh, that's right. And jobs seem boosting hopes of an economic revival. There are any jobs. You know, what happened was to, they announced it. I love this. The unemployment rate didn't go down any at all, but not as many people are applying, applying for employment insurance this week as last. Unexpectedly, it dropped. It means they fell off the rolls, folks. Mm -hmm. And News Corp may be at risk for U.S. probe over bribery. Oh, yeah. It seems that the President of the United States has sick the FBI on them, and the Democrats are demanding a criminal investigation. And once again, it's not a, what was happening. They didn't do it here. If you didn't do it here, it's not a crime, folks. You can kill somebody in a foreign country, and if you're if you don't get extradited over there, there our country has no business messing around with it. You can walk murderers walk around this country all the time. And Obama and lawmakers are still far apart on death. Yeah, you notice there's a lot of things. This is because today was an all Obama press conference. I feel your pain. I'm willing to sacrifice my wealth for this nation. I'm willing. I'm willing. I'm willing. I'm willing. I'm willing. Uh -huh. You know, that the other party won't. So there's a there's a reparative thing today, which is everything is more or less tight around Obama. And Starbucks wins dismissal of worker tips lawsuit. Well, yeah, because I mean, this the tips thing. Okay, this has been going on since my mother was a restaurant business. Uh, originally, what happened was was the bus boy would walk by and pick up the tips and put them in a tip jar, and then they split it up among the people on the floor. What happens today is they're requiring the waitresses to keep track of the tips that are put on the tables for income tax purposes, and, uh, and the tip jar is out. Uh, because, so what happened was, I think they won the case saying, you only have to pay the taxes on the money in the jar, not each individual person. Mm -hmm. So they divide the, okay, say like, they amounted to like $20 a person a night, you only pay the tax on the 20 instead of maybe, you know, the $40 was left on the table. And J.P. Morgan close to becoming the top U.S. lender. Yeah. I, okay, come on. I mean, this is a bad night. Who own, Who is in charge of J.P. Morgan? Uh-huh. Our government. In Iowa, Bachman is early favorite for the vote. She's born in Iowa, folks. They said that she's trailing She behind, better be. She's trailing behind Romney at the moment. Who's not running in Iowa? How does that happen? Uh, uh -huh. You can't be, you can't be, okay, in Iowa, it's a straw poll, which means you buy the votes. You have to, you hold these tents or something, you have big parties and people come by, and whoever comes in the most of your party, you know, and like I say, I have better beer than they've got, so the people go over to my tent and they vote for me. Mm -hmm. Or my hamburgers are better than the beer, so. And Eurozone pledges new stops to help Greece. The problem is they've defaulted twice now, and they have no intentions to stop spending. They've already pumped hundreds of billions in, they're going to have to pump more in because they, the unions are not going to allow the spending to stop, folks. It's a socialist country. What happened to a socialist country is that they eventually, they eventually collapse, and then they become a, they become a capitalistic company. They're, they're socialists that are capitalists, which is the worst type of socialist. And Murdoch flies to London to tackle phone hack crisis. Okay, the problem is, okay, he's lost, uh, he, he basically, he's lost two heads of his company. They won him, the guy with the Wall Street Journal, which is unbelievable, because he's a corporate, he's on the board of directors, and basically um, people, the stockholders are suing the, uh, uh, Murdoch over his board of directors, and they're going to put a whole new board on him. What? Yeah. They want him removed because... Why? Because they think it's just, it's, the fact is, 
This, they should have known this was going on. Come on with a tabloid, folks. They Tab always do things like tabloids that. Tabloids do that. I mean, you think the TMZ is ran like the like the you know a Pulitzer Prize winning newspaper? No. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a scandal publication. That's how they work. And belt tightening may squeeze economy and markets. Well, no. I can't. I can guarantee you that the Obama administration said there is no inflation. They said they do admit that you know they do admit that house sales are, are down. They do admit that food is higher. That it cost it costs more to to do anything. But don't worry because gas prices fell and your home sales your homes aren't worth as much. There is no inflation. Mm -hmm. And WikiLeaks loses Icelandic financial lifeline. Yeah, the guy there. He, he, this guy has no support because. Basically, if you snitch on too many people, I mean, they got hits on this guy out from so many foreign countries, it's unbelievable. I mean, the only safe place he is is in a jail cell. Mm -hmm. And U.S. seeks to limit damage of Texas execution case. No, that, that they always seek to limit damage, but it's always called too little too late is how we work on things. And BP wants future spill claims limited. Yeah. Because uh, Obama said the damage has already corrected itself. And a Monty bubble isn't for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Uh, it, okay, here's a good one. If you don't pay attention to what you're doing, sometimes you run way over. 